बॉयहुड गदाधर ग्रू अप इन टू अ हेल्दी एंड रेस्टलेस बॉय फुल ऑफ फन एंड स्वीट मिस्चिफ ही वॉज इंटेलिजेंट एंड प्रिकोशियस एंड इंडाउड विद अ प्रोडिजियस मेमरी ऑन हिज फादर्स लैब ही लर्न बाय हार्ट द नेम्स ऑफ हिज एंडसेस्टर्स एंड द हिम्स to the gods and goddesses and at the village school he was taught to read and write but his greatest delight was to listen to recitations of stories from hindu mythology and the epics these he would afterwards recount from memory to the great joy of the villagers painting he enjoyed the art of molding images of the gods and goddesses he learned from the potters but arithmetic was his great aversion at the age of 6 or 7 gadadhar had his first experience of spiritual ecstasy one day in june or july when he was walking along a narrow path between paddy fields eating the puffed rice that he carried in a basket he looked up at the sky and saw a beautiful dark thundercloud as it spread rapidly enveloping this whole sky a flight of snow white cranes passed in front of it the beauty of the contrast overwhelmed the boy he fell to the ground unconscious and the puffed rice went in all directions some villagers found him and carried him home in their arms gadadhar said later that in that state he had experienced an indescribable joy Gadadhar was 7 years old when his father died. This incident profoundly affected him. For the first time, the boy realized that life on earth was impermanent. Unobserved by others, he began to slip into the mango orchard or into one of the cremation grounds. And He spent hours absorbed in his own thoughts. He also became more helpful to his mother in the discharge of her household duties. He gave more attention to the reading and hearing the religious stories recorded in the Puranas. And he became interested in the wandering monks and pious pilgrims. who would stop at kamarpukul on their way to puri these holy men the custodians of india's spiritual heritage and the living witnesses of the ideal of renunciation of the world and all absorbing love of god entertained the little boy with stories from the hindu epics stories of saints and prophets and also stories of their own adventures he on his part fetched their water and fuel and served them in various ways meanwhile he was observing their meditation and worship at the age of 9 gadadhar was invested with the sacred thread this ceremony conferred upon him the privileges of his brahmin lineage including the worship of the family deity raghuveer and imposed upon him the many strict disciplines of a brahmin's life during the ceremony of investiture he shocked his relatives by accepting a meal cooked by his nurse 
a shudra woman his father would have never dreamt of doing such a thing but in a playful mood gadadhar had once promised this woman that he would eat her food and now he fulfilled his plighted word the woman had piety and religious sincerity and these were more important to the boy than the conventions of society gadadhar was now permitted to worship raghuveer thus began his first training in meditation he so gave his heart and soul to the worship that the stone image very soon appeared to him as living lord of the universe his tendency to lose himself in contemplation was first noticed at this time behind his boyish lightheartedness was seen a deepening of his spiritual nature about this time on the shivaratri night consecrated to the worship of shiva a dramatic performance was arranged the principal actor who was to play the part of shiva suddenly fell ill and gadadhar was persuaded to act in his place while friends were dressing him for the role of shiva smearing his body with ashes matting his locks placing a trident in his hand and a string of rudraksha beads around his neck the boy appeared to become absent minded he approached the stage with slow and measured step supported by his friends he looked the living image of shiva the audience loudly applauded what it took to be his skill as an actor but it was soon discovered that he was really lost in meditation his countenance was radiant and tears flowed from his eyes he was lost to the outer world the effect of this scene on the audience was tremendous the people felt blessed as by a vision of shiva himself the performance had to be stopped and the boy's mood lasted till the following morning gadadhar himself now organized a dramatic company with his young friends the stage was set in the mango orchard the themes were selected from the stories of the ramayana and the mahabharata gadadhar knew by his heart almost all the roles having heard them from professional actors his favorite theme was the vrindavan episode of krishna's life depicting those exquisite love stories of krishna and the milkmaids and the cowherd boys gadadhar would play the parts of radha or krishna and would often lose himself in the character he was portraying his natural feminine grace heightened the dramatic effect the mango orchard would ring with the loud kirtan of the boys lost in song and merry making gadadhar became indifferent to the routine of school in 1849 ram kumar the eldest son went to calcutta to improve the financial condition of the family gadadhar was on the threshold of youth he had become the pet of the women of the village they loved to hear him talk sing or recite from the holy books they enjoyed his knack of imitating voices 
their women's instinct recognized the innate purity and guilelessness of this boy of clear skin flowing hair beaming eyes smiling face and inexhaustible fun the pious elderly women looked upon him as gopala the baby krishna and the younger ones saw in him the youthful krishna of vrindavan he himself so idealized the love of the gopis for krishna that he sometimes yearned to be born as a woman if he must be born again in order to be able to love sri krishna with all his heart and soul